Welcome dear students to Computer Study Standard 10th English Medium Chapter Number 9 Part 3 Problem and Problem Solving Now we come to problem number 5. Find the youngest student among the three students. Okay. Now here this thing I had uh, given in the last video also I had given this question to you that you are supposed to solve the question or problem and let us see how you are able to do. Many of the students had solved the problem, click the photo and uh, sent it to me. Fine. So today I am teaching you how to solve this type of problem. Now see uh, what are the possibilities and how to solve the problem. I, I straight away start with the flow chart. So first I draw the old shape terminal start. Okay. And next step. What is the next step? I have to input the age of all the three students one by one right fine so first input we take is the uh, input the age of the first student and store it in the variable age one remember this thing this is like the previous one only then input the age of second student and store it as variable age two and input the age of the third student and store it as variable age 3 so total we have got age 1 age 2 and age 3 and we have already inputted the value and stored it in this three variables fine then what will be the next step next step uh, we cannot compare all the three variables at a time that is age 1 equal to age 3 is equal to age uh, sorry age 1 equal to age 2 is equal to age 3 like that way we cannot compare okay suppose in the flow chart if we compare fine there will be no problem at all no issue at all but uh, later on when we prepare uh, whenever we prepare a program using a programming language like C language at that time it will not allow us to compare all the three variables value at the same time it will allow you to compare the value of two two variables so we start like that way that we compare the age or ages of or the values of the variable age 1 and age 2 what could be the outcome of this thing if we compare the two values what could be the outcome the first outcome could be that age 1 could be smaller than age 2 am I right second uh, possibility could be age 1 could be bigger than age 2 opposite to the previous possibility and third possibility could be age 1 and age 2 could be equal right so we have got three possibilities here and before I continue further one more thing I would like to add is that uh, in the beginning of the chapter I told you that you will have to use your logical reasoning power am I right so from this problem your reasoning power efficiency starts before that all the pro uh, problems were just simple problems okay fine now here we go ahead with the first possibility that is if age 1 is less than age 2 what does this mean that from this age 1 is smaller okay so now I have to compare age 1 and age 3 do I need to compare age 2 and age 3 again no why no because age 2 is already bigger than age 1 okay so age 2 cannot be smaller than age 3 okay and even if it is smaller than age 3 but that is not uh, that is not possible right now so here I have to compare only age 1 and age 3 now here I am not typing that uh, compare age 1 and age 3 huh? I am typing like this way if age 1 is smaller than age 3 then what it will have two possibilities right it could be smaller or it could not be smaller two possibilities lies there so we check the first possibility 
yes if age 1 is smaller than age 3 what does this thing mean that age 1 is smaller than age 3 and age 1 is also smaller than age 2 that means that age 1 is the smaller stage and so we have to give the output print first student is youngest remember because we have compared age 1 with age 3 also it is smaller and with age 2 also we have compared there also age 1 is smaller both the places so we have to print uh, first student is the youngest fine now we go to the next possibility and that is if age 1 is bigger than age 2 right then from this to age 2 is smaller so I have to compare age 2 with age 3 and here also I don't have to type uh, compare but what I have to use if age 2 is smaller than age 3 ok here also there will be two, uh, two possibility we go with the first possibility yes if age 2 is smaller than age 3 then it means that it is smaller than age 3 also and age 1 also right it is written here clearly so we have to print that second student is youngest fine now we go to the third possibility and uh, before teaching you further all of you please pause the video and hit the like button because preparing the video like this way it's a lengthy process I could have explained the same thing on the blackboard also but you will not be able to understand the concept clearly so I have used this method which is a very lengthy method so hit the like button and all those who are new on my channel and haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and continue watching the video fine we go to the last possibility age 1 and age 2 are equal then what we have to do then we can compare either age 1 or age 2 anything with age 3 ok try to understand if both the ages are equal ok both the ages is for example say 10 ok then that 10 we have to compare with age 3 and we have to check here if age 1 and age 3 are equal see here we were comparing like this way huh? greater than uh, sorry smaller than smaller than but here we are comparing like this way so if age 1 and age 3 are equal then what would be the output then it the output will be all the students have the same age right because here we had compared age 1 and age 2 they were equal if age 3 is also equal we have to print all the students have same age if not so then what will be the output if not so then first we start from here ok this we leave it just now we compare uh, we come here that if age 1 is not smaller than age 3 then what we have to do then we have to do the same process that is age 2 if age 2 is smaller than age 3 and if yes then we have to print this thing ok so we have seen the yes side of all three and no we have just seen this one side now here also we check the no side ok negative side that if age 2 is not smaller than age 3 then you have to print that third student is youngest right and here another thing last one snow side is if both the values are not equal then then you will have to compare age 2 if it is smaller than age 3 then you will have to go to this direction <laughs> so if you have not understood the problem you can repeat this part of the video and watch it again because C language is based on totally this type of reasoning ability if you are not able to reason the thing you are very good at mugging then that mugging will not help you in solving the problems so you can uh, watch this part of the video again and try to understand this thing now we come to problem number 6 that is next problem that is find out the age of the youngest student of a class or from a class 
now in the class how many students are there is not given in the equation is it given anywhere that there are 50 students 60 students 30 students no that thing is not given right now so first input we will have to take is uh, the number of students am i right yes it's right like that we have to start the first input will be the number of students and then you will have to take the age of the students one by one and compare it with uh, one another and for that we will be using a facility called loop remember the word in C language it will be used very often L O O P loop looping facility whenever you want to repeat the same action again and again at that time you will have to use the looping facility okay fine so I begin the program and in the textbook this problem which is given in the textbook it's uh, wrong the equation over here is wrong I am reading the equation if anybody is having the textbook you can read the equation they have not asked you to find out the age of the youngest student okay what they have asked you to find is I am reading the equation let us further modify the problem 5 to find out the youngest student that is the name of the student who is uh, the youngest one how in the previous one we had done first student second student and third student like that way they have asked in the equation that you have to find out the youngest student from a class with any number of students in it okay the steps which are given in the explanation are also wrong please do not follow the textbook the author whosoever may write the textbook I have observed in standard 9, 10, 11, 12 he translates the Gujarati textbook into English textbook okay he doesn't think in English and then type the questions or type the material first he types the Gujarati textbook and then he converts it translates it into English and so this type of uh, mistakes are there fine now this is a very difficult question try to understand and uh, one thing in homework I will be giving you not right now but just I am giving you that same problem you have to solve using C language when I teach C language fine so we begin terminal symbol start fine so what did I ask you to do first input the number of students studying in the class ok so here I have printed input the total number of students now when we take the input we have to store it in a variable am I right so we store it in the variable named max underscore no max number ok so this value for example we take it's 50 five zero fifty students are studying so 50 is stored in which variable max number ok fine now next step we do a process in which we take another variable named count this is a new thing for you we take another variable we are not taking any input just observe it's not a parallelogram it is a rectangle okay we have not taken any input we have straight away assigned a value to the variable count what value have we assigned one and what will be the use of count variable we will be using the count variable to loop the thing just now you will come to know fine now we take another input okay that input will be the age of the first student input the age of count student and call it age okay now here I have not written first student did you notice that thing what have I written here input the age of count student in the textbook here also there is mistake please do not follow the textbook okay they have made very silly mistakes fine count student means what what is the value of count one so input the age of the first student the value of count will keep on changing and it will reach till 50 so I have kept here variable count count student and where have you to store that value in the variable named age fine next step now we have to take a decision decision is you have to check whether count is equal to 1 or not 
is count equal to 1 yes it is equal to 1 just now right fine so we go to the yes side what is the yes side in the yes side we do another process and for process I have drawn a rectangular shape symbol here we assign that age that is the age of the first student into a variable named mean mean means minimum remember so here what are we trying to do is whatever is the age of the first student we consider that that is the smallest age okay that is the lowest age we consider it like that way we assume it like that way and we save it in a variable named min now we proceed further after that next process will be that another process will come that count is equal to count plus one why did we do so because now we want to take the age of the second student and so we need to change the value of count so count was 1 now 1 plus 1 is 2 so the now the new value of the variable count will be 2 fine now we will check is count less than or equal to max number why are we to check this thing we have got 50 students in the class right so we have to stop after the 50 student enters his age we have to stop at that point so to stop at that point we check here that is count less than or equal to max if yes then we come back here this process is known as looping remember my dear students so we come back here and repeat the same process input the age of count student what is the count value 2 so uh, this is the age of the second student now we check here is count equal to 1 is it equal to 1 no it's 2 so we go to the 2 side no side ok so after going to the no side what do we do that is we check here is age less than min now first students age uh, we considered that it is minimum it is lowest we compare here is it less than min if yes then if yes means it is uh, still lesser than what we had assumed so then we will assign the second student's age to mean okay that is now mean is equal to age i will explain you with an example the first student's age was 10 years okay and we had ass assumed that minimum age is 10 years right now here we have entered the age of second student now his age is 9 remember so 9 is less than 10 right so yes then have we to assign 9 to mean right mean is means minimum so now mean means minimum so we will assign 9 here ok and go ahead now the process will be same count is equal to count plus 1 so 2 plus 1 3 3 is 3 less than 50 yes it's less than 50 we go back here we check enter the age of third student ok now is count is equal to 1 no it is equal to 3 so we go this side now here we check uh, with an example if the age is 11 then it is not less than min so we go to the no side what is the no side no side is count is equal to count plus 1 and then repeat the process so till the end we will go on repeating this looping for 49 times and then 50th time we will repeat the thing ok and after the 50th step here it will show count is not less than 50 so print min so at that time what will be the minimum value here that will be printed here and the loop will end you can watch this part of the video again to understand this concept